we're down on the beach. Uh, chalk cliffs behind us there. What we're doing is we're walking up to the rockier area. And then as the tide goes down, we'll hopefully walk back and be able to pick up some crab. That's the plan. The sea's looking absolutely lovely today. The sun's just coming up over there. Beautiful. That's where we're going. Over there somewhere. So Eastbourne has a fantastic coastline. Down the other end, past the pier, and up, up to the Wish Tower. It's a mixture of shingle onto sand, which is absolutely great, but you come up this end, towards the cliffs, and it's a bit more rocky. As you can see. And these are the areas that we want to look for the crabs all along here. And as this tide pushes back, what happens is it exposes more of these gullies and more of these crevices where crabs are going to be hiding. And that's what we want to target, that's what we want to look for. And that's what we're going to, you know, endeavour to try and find. Guys, if you find rubbish and plastic on your journey, you know, just pick it up, pop it in your bucket. <sighs> we can dispose of it when we get back. You know, just keep the beach clean for others. It's just a good way forward, I believe. So I just lifted this rock up here. And I found some more little little gobies and blennies. Oh, that's a nice one. Ugh, it's a slightly bigger one. I mean, these are fish that just live in the rock pools. Little small fish. I think that one's a goby. I might be wrong though. It looks like a blenny. So this looks like a good rock, I'm going to give this one a go. Oh, yeah, there's, a, there's a small fish there. There's a little crab under it. Let's have a look at him. Oh. Test the back. No, it's still hard. It's still really hard, so he's got to go back. Yep, we're not taking the small ones. It's not really much point. So the rock goes back, and then on we go. So just pull back another one. We got this one. Looks like he's uh, passed it. But obviously, as he's gone, he's a nice size. We'll throw him in the bucket, and hopefully, make some use of him. Just pulled this uh, another small little crab out. It's uh, quite a different one though, so I haven't seen a crab like this. It's got massive claws. His claws are like no big as his body. So it'll be interesting to get back and find out what that one is. So these are what the guys at the L who do LRF target, I believe. I think they're blennies. Yeah, really cool fish. I hear they make really good bait for bass. Or there might be gobies that are good for bass. Let me know. Let me know in the comments what are good for bass as bait. But yeah, these are really cool. You know, it's just something different. Finding a rock pool. Right outside my doorstep. Let's put them back. Put them back under the rock. We're not going to put the big rock back on him. We're just going to, you know, give him a bit of shelter under there. And he can make his own way. It's a cool little find. Right underneath my nose. Another small crab. Too small. But they're here. That's the main thing. Oh, I see a crab leg. Oh, there's a nice one. There we go. Yeah, he's good. Oh, he can come with us. The area is absolutely stunning. You cannot beat this area. It's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Seas behind me. Cliffs to the other side. Absolutely stunning area. Just want to try and find some more crabs. Right, so I had a phone with my mate, and he said that these ones here, these crabs here, are velvet swimmer crabs. And he said, don't take them off the beach. So he's going back. You can tell velvet swimmer crabs because of the uh, the back paddles on their legs. So he's going back. 
put, put them back down. We'll pop them under some seaweed. And we'll get them back. And it's nice under the seaweed. Nice and back in his original habitat. Let's give this rock here a go. This looks like a good one. Oh yeah, I can see some legs. There we go. There we go. Another nice crab. Missing its front claws. But yeah, he looks like a cool one. He can come with us. Nice big size. Hard back. Not a peeler. But still make a good crab bait, that will. Absolutely cracking size. Probably two crab baits. Lovely. So I'm gonna I'm gonna walk along this uh, this line here and just have a look through just the seaweed. Just have a look under these rocks. nice crab whoa I think that's a pregnant crab I'm not sure how crabs work this big egg sack at the bottom here I think that's where it's laying eggs but again I'm not 100% sure but to be on the safe side we're gonna put him back it definitely looks like it's gonna it's gonna spawn but I'm not sure yeah we'll put him back it's not fair to take him if you don't know they are. There's a lovely crab though. So put them back. Put them back over it. Put, yeah. Just find it worse. Put it back away. Oh yeah. That is a crab and a half. Look at the size of that one. Absolutely beautiful crab. Oh, and he's soft. Oh, he's really soft. He's really, really soft. Really, absolutely brilliant. Look at that, look, he's peeling. He's, he's great. Woohoo! Nice little peeler crab there. Happy days, nice size, absolutely beautiful size. Look at him. He's going in the bucket. Cheers, pal. Oh, just found an absolutely beautiful velvet crab. Let's bring it out. For you just so you guys can see absolutely beautiful crab we can't take him I think he's dead is he dead oh no he's still alive absolutely beautiful stunning again the velvet crab he's got his like little swimmer paddles on the back he's a lovely little crab he can go back in and we just put the seaweed back down we well, found him. Push him in. Oh, push him in. Right, let's just lift this rock up. We found this crab under it. Let's just get him out. It's like a big one. Nice big crab. It's pretty hard. It's a nice one. It's a hard bank, so I don't, know. I don't really want a hard bank, I just want peelers. We'll whack him in the box. Right, guys, that was good fun. Uh, went down, had a quick scour around, tried to find some crabs uh, for these hounds when they come in. I uh, found a couple of hard backs, a couple of peelers, you know, varying sizes. It was good fun. Let's have a look, see what we got. Right, so this is what we ended up with. Some different sized crabs in there. Small ones, big ones. A couple of really spongy ones. Yeah, so all in all, it was a pretty good day. And we ended up with some uh, some crab bait. So yeah, happy days. I'm looking forward to using the crab. Um, it was good fun to be out. And yeah, I'll definitely have a go to write again. Cheers, guys. See you next time.